So welcome back to another episode of FIFA History. Today we are taking a look at FIFA Football 2003. We're going way, way back now. This game was made in 2002. And I think at the time I did actually have this game, so I remember playing a little bit of it, but obviously I was very young at the time as well. I remember playing SmackDown Here Comes the Pain, I think around this time as well. Man, those, those SmackDown games were good as well. But anyway, FIFA 2003 had an 8.4 out of 10 from IGN, 9.1 out of 10 from GameSpot, and 83% on Metacritic. So these are very, very good reviews. Today we're going to see what it's all about, give it a bash and we'll see if it's any good. If you do enjoy today's video, please leave a like and make sure you subscribe as well. It's completely free and you get tons of value, so please do so. Today's video is sponsored by Mule Factory. If you want to get some FIFA coins, check out Mule Factory. The link will be in the description. If you use my code VAPEXFOOT, you also get 5% off. You gotta love the menus back then, look. Very, very simple stuff. No uh, ultimate team and all that kind of stuff back then. So you can play a club championship friendly, start a new club championship season. So surely this is like career mode. You can play a friendly match. So yeah, this is definitely a, a career mode sort of thing. There's friendly match there. There's also starting a new season. Wait, is that career mode? Who knows? And there's also start a new tournament. So I guess we'll start maybe here, start a new season. What is this all about? Choose style of play, simulation settings, or action settings. Default settings for faster paced play and fewer rules. Default settings for authentic tactical play. Okay, I think I get it. So there's like an arcade sort of gameplay and a simulation-based gameplay. I think we'll do simulation and we'll do semi-pro. There's only one user team, FA Premier League. You know we have to be united. And pretty much that's it. So you just go through the games, I, I believe. Is there any table here or something? Okay, so you can view the table, yep. So I don't think 2003 had crew mode the way we know it. I think that sort of came in FIFA 05, 06 or 07, something like that. So yeah, you can basically see the, the initial version of career mode right there. Let's see what this uh, whole club championship thing is. So it looks like there's all these different teams. Um, I really don't know who to pick. Look at that old Juventus logo. Oh my goodness, it's been a long time since then. can barely see it. The graphics are so blurry. Club championship analysis, manager Alex Ferguson. Okay, so it gives you a few bits of information. Is this like a Champions League? What is this? View tables, Ajax, Arsenal, Liverpool. So this must be like a, a European Premier League, I guess, a European Super League. It's pretty interesting. Didn't even know this was a thing when I actually played this game back in 2003. I don't even remember this stuff. I thought this was actually Karimo, but it looks like uh, the other thing was Karimo, and this is like some sort of um, European Premier League. I have to Wikipedia this thing. Okay, apparently GameSpot at the time said uh, Club Championship Mode is basically where the best club teams vie for the championship trophy. So it's definitely some sort of like Premier League, but based on like all the best clubs around the world, which is very interesting. Why is this game starting to load up a demo match? I don't know why, but when you're inactive for a couple minutes, it just loads up a demo match. All right, because 2003 didn't really have a proper career mode, we're not really going to play a game in this sort of mode, which is just basically playing the games in the Premier League and that's it. There's no features to show you. But if we go to actually club championship, we might as well just start a new one there and see what it's all about. Since we have, I haven't really seen this before. I don't even remember this feature. So I don't know what team to press. Probably, I don't know. We might do Juventus today. I feel like a bit of old school Juventus. All right, so the first game we are playing against Arsenal. And let me check the options here. We're also playing at Highbury as well, the old stadium. All right, so here we go. Look at them graphics. Look at that. We've got Edgar Davids, Edgar Davids, whatever his name is, with the sports glasses. I remember that. And also, we've got Highbury there, old stadium. We've got Arsenal in their classic O2 kit right there. Juventus in their classic fast web sponsored kit. And look at that, we've even got the club logos on the field. And uh, this is very, very weird. I think this is a new camera angle or an old camera angle. I can't play like this. It does remind me of EA Sports Game Cam though. Let me see if it's the widescreen thing because I did turn that on. So maybe it was that. No, it's still this. So yeah, EA did have uh, game cam back then, so they're literally just bringing back features they had from old games. This is literally some sort of game cam thing that they introduced in FIFA 21 Next Gen. Have a shot. Oh, good save. I mean, it's hard to get used to at the moment. I don't know if it looks too good on your screens. Might make you a little bit dizzy, I don't know. But yeah, there was like some sort of broadcast camera that wasn't too bad. It reminded me of a uh, game cam. So what else is there? We've got telly. I think telly was what a lot of people used. Dynamic end-to-end, -end. but yeah, just just so you guys know, there was some sort of broadcasting. It, it very much resembles what EA added in this year on FIFA 21 Next Gen, the game cam thing. It's a bit more zoomed out compared to normal FIFA games, but 
The graphics on this on the PS2, man, you can barely see the players, like literally barely see the ball. And the keeper's got to come out. How fast was that shot? Oh my goodness. Terry Henry, but how fast was that shot? We're already down 1-0. Fantastic start to the game. Can barely see the guys kicking off as well. But yeah, this game's pretty fast paced. There's a lot of action here. But very, very responsive as well. Like if you press pass, the guy passes it. Uh, you can feel the responsiveness. It's not bad at all. And I think we're going to lay it off here. Beautiful pass. Oh, we've still got it. Played across. And we take the shot. We score. It's Del Piero with the long hair as well. Oh, man. This is going to be a cracking game already. Look at this. Del Piero. No one's marking him. And, uh, yeah, very, very responsive game. You know, it's not bad at all. I mean, we are playing on semi-pro, which might affect it. But so far, so good. Here's Davids. Can you do skill moves in this game? I don't know. But Davids is doing pretty well. Davids again. Nedved. Oh, I remember Nedved. Lay it off. Takanadi has the shot. Oh my goodness, I thought he scored. Here we go. Arsenal coming through the middle. And they take the shot. Good save by Buffon. And we can't take it off him. Look at this. I mean, <laughs> defending doesn't exist in this game. Nice ball. Henri. Oh my goodness. Second goal for Henri. I can imagine how much... His overall is in this game. I think this was like the Invincible team as well, wasn't it? No wonder why we're down 2-1 already. Trezeguet, have a shot, son. Oh, good save. I think we're going to have to get a bit closer. Good tackle. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not again. Oh, how did he miss? Burkamp. Should have done better there. I think it's pretty unique how EA had some sort of like, you know, super club competition in this game. We don't really get that these days. You sort of have to create it yourself through the tournament mode. But this was like a, a primary feature in this game before even season mode. And obviously career mode didn't exist. It was more of just season mode where you just play the games. Oh, we should have scored there. Could have done better. But yeah, I, I've never actually remembered this feature until now. Well, not even remembered. I've just seen this. And like it's like the first time I've seen it. Even though I did have FIFA 2003 at the time. I did a, a European Premier League on my second channel. And that was on FIFA 21 crew mode. And I had a lot of fun versing all the big powerhouses across Europe and stuff. So yeah, I can see why EA would have this sort of mode. Because I think there is demand for it. Nice work. Takanadi. Del Piero lays it off. Make the run. Davids. Oh, he dribbles past and has a shot. Oh, it's not good, man. Should have scored. And ref, that's a foul. Come on, mate. Straight from behind. Got to be a red card. Is that the real ref? That's that real guy, the Italian ref. Look at this. Last man here. Oh, oh, how did we not get that? We slid right in front of the ball there. And they cross it again, and Henri, no, he misses. Terry Henri should have scored there. Good tackle, there we go. It's opened up a little bit, a lot of action. Still 20 minutes left. Del Piero make the run, son. Okay, I'll take it. Del Piero from distance, good save. These keepers save everything. So overall, it's definitely just a, a pick up and play FIFA. It's not slow, like it's got a decent pace to it once you get used to it. And pretty responsive as well with the analog dribbling and stuff. I could see why it got decent reviews at the time. There's nothing really wrong with it, you know. I mean, the graphics obviously compared to what we've got now, but at the time you didn't know any better. And I think you can play it on PC and it, it's got even better graphics than this, like full clear HD. But I don't know how to do that kind of stuff. Plus, I use a Mac anyway, so I don't know how to get it. Here we go. Del Piero laid off. I think we can score. Del Piero is taking it all on himself. And he goes to pass it. And they're, they're just prime Maldinis at the back, mate. Nothing you can do. Here we go. Another chance here. And we're going to bring him down. That, that tackle didn't even do anything. It just went straight through the air. And apparently, we have to load a substitution. We've got five minutes left, and we just pass it straight back. I don't think we're going to score another goal here. If anything, we're going to concede again. And there's the goal. Yep, there it is. We've been asking for it, and uh, Bird Camp delivers that one. It's terrible defending today. Even on semi-pro, it feels like I'm playing on, like, legendary. But we are versing a very hard Arsenal team. We're loading another substitution now. So you wouldn't want to do more than one sub in the game, because you'll be waiting half your time. Uh, I don't know who he's passing it to, but it looks like it worked. And this one worked as well. Take the shot. Oh, this keeper saves everything. Well, overall, it was nice to come back to FIFA 2003. Like I said, I did have this game at the time, but I just don't remember much of it. I was very young. And, uh, yeah, it's nice to come back. 
it's nice to see some actual player faces as well, which is nice. I don't think the kits even have a a brand on it. Like, where's the where's the Nike kit? Is it Nike? No. The Arsenal kit doesn't have any uh, brand on it. You know, the manufacturer. I can't remember who they were sponsored by, but I don't see anything there. I mean, the graphics are the only thing that really take a hit when you go back to these games, but the gameplay is pretty fine. But overall, it's good to come back, play one or two games, and uh, that's about it. So I hope you did enjoy today's episode of FIFA History. Make sure you leave a like if you did, and make sure you subscribe for more episodes in the series. Please make sure you check out this FIFA video. Hit the card in the middle. It'll take you straight there. I'll see you next time.